everyone, and welcome to Kaiser and the Voices. I'm Kaiser Acheron, the host of The Voices, and welcome to a very special Let's Play of Kaiser Plays X Zodiac. Now, why is this particular video so special? Well, for those of you who don't know, X Zodiac is the loving brainchild of Ben Hickling being published by Pixel Jam Games, which, based on the art style here, is a throwback to the on-rail 3D shooters of old like Star Fox. And I happen to be a massive fan of Star Fox. I might not have expressed it much on this channel, but in my heyday, I used to play Star Fox like crazy. So when I saw the trailer for this game, link in the description, I absolutely fell in love. The aesthetic, the gameplay, it all just clicked. So when Ben Hickling put on Twitter that he would be giving out a special two-level demo of the game for those who were interested, I had to hop on the opportunity as soon as possible. And wouldn't you know it, they said yes! So, this is going to be a special sponsored video for Exodiac, demoing the two levels that are included in this particular demo, and showing off all the ins and outs of what this game has to offer. So without further delay, let's get into it! Right off the bat, I already love the aesthetic and the art design. It's that old school aesthetic with a modern paint lift. So we're gonna go with mission one first, Allura. The forests of Allura are under attack. Find out who's responsible and put an end to the destruction before it's too late. Good luck! Alright folks, let's do this. Now I highly recommend with a game like this, play it on the gamepad. Alright, tap the fire button to shoot your blasters. That's the X button. Hold it to lock onto enemies. That fires off a set of missiles. Now as you can see, we only have three right now. But we can collect these upgrades to give us an extra one. So now we can shoot up to four lock on missiles at a time. And these can lock on to either one enemy four times or onto four separate enemies. Which means locking on enemies is a right joy to do. Use the right triggers to turn left and right. And if you double tap them, you get a barrel roll. Or as we should scientifically call it, an aileron roll. But you get the gist of it. Oh, I love the vibrancy and the colors. The gameplay feels so tight and responsive as well. This honestly feels like a modernized version of what Star Fox should have been. And like, just the way it's all put together feels so nice. And listen to that music and sound design. Just give that a listen. I love it. The composition just feels so sick. All right, so we gotta be careful as we fly through here. Gotta watch our backs. Okay, we got two choices, repair and, well, we went for laser. So now we can shoot double lasers while also using lock-on missiles. Very nice. So I wonder who exactly is attacking this city of Allura? Hmm, maybe we'll find out later on. All right, watch yourselves. <laughs> you know what would honestly be really cool? If you had like partners that flew with you during the missions, like in the original Star Fox. But hey, what can you do, right? This is very much an early development, and for what Ben Hickling has so far, oh, it's really dang solid. Like, this is honestly really amazing. And just, what they can do with the environments here is really good. Oh crud, whoa, okay. Gotta slow down a bit. Don't wanna get blasted out of the sky here. <laughs> Holy crud. All right, we got this folks, we got this. All right, five missiles on lock. We are good. Oh boy, this guy loves to just spit out missiles at us. Thank God there's ship repairs, because if not, we would definitely be dead by now. All right, what do we got here? Missile and repair. Definitely useful right now. All right, what do we got? I have a bad feeling about this. Who is this lady? I'm kind of curious. She looks cute. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a boss. What do we got? Oh, cool. A giant scorpion robot. All right, let's see where the... Okay, so its tail is one of its weak points. Nice, let's just blast that sucker with missiles! Blast it out of the sky! Or off the ground in this case. Oh boy! Whew, definitely a good thing we use the brake. All right, oh crud, watch those claws. Okay, oh, I am not doing good here. Okay, having a little trouble, but it's okay. Oh, no, okay. So the claws tend to jut out and attack with those rotating saw blades, which I really like that they have this sort of like laser effect to them. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like they're made with like some sort of plasma energy, at least based on the way the graphics look. I mean, it's a very nice touch. All right, slow down so we don't get hit by the fans. All right, blast them. Oh, okay, careful, careful. All right, easy now. Whoa, that thrust. Definitely like the sense of speed you get off of that. That's cool. All right, break. Did you try to 
thrust through the fans next time, just to see, like, if I can make it through without getting crushed by them. Well, I gotta be careful, though. My shield is low. Alright, easy. Fire! Let's do this. Easy now. Whoa! Almost got slashed there. Alright, come on. Knock out the claw. Knock it out. Come on. Easy. Come on. Woo! Alright. Thrust! Woohoo! Ah, oh, almost! <laughs> Shoot, I almost had that. But whoa! Easy now. God, I love this. This is so much fun. Yes! Alright. Oh! It still attacked me even though it was blowing up? Was not ready for that. Okay, that's definitely kind of a n like something I have to knock. Just like the part was destroyed. How did it still attack? Guess I gotta be careful. Alright. That takes care of the boss, which tried to hit me with those missiles on the inside, but no such luck. Wasn't having it. Oh, really? Almost had a perfect run! Two more enemies and I would have gotten them all. Ugh. Still, can't go wrong for a first timer. 70 out of 72, and that is level 1 Allura. Alright. And as you can see, since uh, we have the demo out, it gives us a link to the Steam page, to the Kickstarter, and to the Discord server, which all links will be included in the description if you guys are interested. I highly recommend checking it out. Alright. And here's the intro's title screen for this game. I love it. Now, one other thing I really think is cool is they have a resolution mode that makes it more high res, but the default is the retro style. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use high res for level 2, just to demo it and to show how it looks. So let's head into the second level included in this demo, shall we folks? I admit, the high res looks even sharper, but I mean, that's the point. So let's head to mission 2, the Super Ice World. <laughs> let's go to Super Ice World! Yay! Alright, let's go! Hold it! Before we go into this level, I just wanted to quickly bring up, there was an update to the demo which added the name of the level as well as the description. So here's all that juicy information for all of you who are curious. Let's see what this world has to offer! Ooh! This kind of reminds me of Fortuna if I had to like draw a comparison. Oh, it looks beautiful. I love the mountains in the background. I also love that as you move, the mountains kind of move with you. It's kind of a nice touch. All right, let's fly through some hoops. All right, get them! Blast them out of the sky! I do like that you can also shoot the trees as well, just for that added sense of environmental damage and such. Good touch! All right, got another ro rocket launcher on legs. All right, oh, it's a laser turret shooter, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely getting mad Fortuna vibes from this level. Just the way that Ben Hickling has recreated this sort of Star Fox style of gameplay is so wonderful. And in all honesty, that's something I kind of have to gripe about. Where are games like this? These sort of on-rail shooter type games, you know? We don't really see a lot of them. So it's really cool to see that someone is putting together a game like this. So thank you very much, Ben Hickling, for putting this game together. It is truly awesome so far. I can't- Whoa! Wait to see what comes next! Okay, definitely gotta be careful. Watch out for the drill bits! Alright, easy. Okay. Got the bullet. Whoa! Yes! Oh, this is awesome. This is so much fun. Alright, grab that laser up! Alright, haven't gotten any missile upgrades yet, so are they limiting us? Alright, get that rainbow checkpoint marker. Alright, blast it. Come on! Get it! Oh! Ha! Not letting you get away from me. Alright, oh, there's a missile upgrade. That'll come in handy later. Alright, I see some fuel tankers. Incoming wave of enemies. So are these like missile ships? I love their design, but I'm just kind of curious what they- Oh, hello UFO that shoots a giant laser beam. Nope, not letting you get away from me. Alright, careful. Ooh. Wonder, will the barrel roll reflect bullets like in the original games? Curious. I have to get shot to test that theory out. But still, just, oh, the attention to detail and the love here. I'm noticing they use the same track from Allura here, so I'm guessing that's like the main Exodiac theme, which is really cool. Oh crud, focus dude, focus! Alright, just gonna blast them all out of the sky before they get me. On fire! I think I'm doing pretty good for myself, all things considered. 
I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> so do I. A bad feeling that a boss is coming. Oh boy. Here we go. What do we got? Alright, it's the source of that. It's a giant freaking drill worm? Okay. How the heck do we take this thing out? Whoa! Don't fly right into it, dude. Oh man. I wonder, are they gonna have are they gonna have names for all the bosses? Like in the official release? I don't know, but the one thing I know for sure is I want to kickstart this! <laughs> what the heck? The missiles shoot out giant lava spires? Okay! <laughs> this is freaking radical! Oh my god, I am I'm sorry if there's not like a lot of like deep commentary here. I'm just having fun with this! This is that's the genuine feeling I'm getting from this is fun. Like I'm just having a good time playing this. All right, so these things are gonna shoot rockets now. All right, gotta focus on shooting lasers for a bit. Let's save the lock on for when he's like surfing around. Come on, focus. Okay, you can only hit the body. The drill bit in the back cannot be destroyed. All right, I know I didn't get a perfect score in this level, but honestly, I don't mind. This is honestly too much fun. All right, blast the rest of it. Okay, that's all the body parts. So I'm guessing we have to hit the drill bit now, right? Easy. Oh, hello. Whoa! Okay, what are you doing? What do you got for us? Okay, it's just sitting there. All right, the drill bit does open. Oh, come on, do it, do it, do it. Oh, 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 whoa! Oh, jeez! Don't get blasted out of the sky now! Oh, did I do it? Yes! With just a little bit of shield energy to spare. Whew! All right, then! Oh, whoa, they definitely put more enemies in this level. I missed quite a few. Why is it mission one? This is supposed to be mission two. All right, definitely got to keep that in mind for later. But still, that was X Zodiac's demo. And my final thoughts at the moment that this particular build, it's pretty solid so far. The gameplay is really tight. The sound effects and music are all really well put together. And to me, it recreates that feeling of the original like Star Fox games really dang well while also doing its own thing. I am curious to see what other elements are included in this game, like what else could be added in to like add to it. Like maybe we can get customizable colors for the ship. And I'm also curious to see what story elements will come in later on too, because we do have a sort of NPC character that pops up as seen in Allura and in the second level. So I'm curious, like, will there be a story with this, or is it going to be very simple? Now, I was told that the levels are pretty much going to be like a pick-your-own-path type thing, so it'd be cool to see how that's implemented in the full release. But, in order to get that full release, we need to help this game on Kickstarter, folks. In the description below, there will be a link to X Zodiac's Kickstarter, which is now live. So if you guys want to support this game and support the creators of this, please check out the link in the description below so that way you can support the Kickstarter project. And if not, just share the project around, share this video around, the whole nine yards, because I'll be honest, I want to support this game. This game seems like it could do really well with enough support. So come on guys, let's help Ben Hinkling out and let's get this game kickstarted, shall we? So yeah, but until next time folks, Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting me know your favorite moments from this video, as well as any criticisms you might have about the game itself. Personally, I love it, but what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Also be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on, so you know when further news about this game is coming to the surface. Also, share this video around. The more support we can get for this game, the better. And with that said, this is Kaiser, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!